everybody, uh, another update for you today. Actually, I mean, it's been just a kind of a crazy weekend uh, in the state of Florida and in particular at Universal Studios. <clears throat> Last, uh, on the 24th, uh, just before midnight, um, there was the um, potential scare of an active shooter. People believe there was a shooter there at CityWalk uh, heading into the parking hub. There was no shooter, but there was uh, some fighting that took place and the police were there. And I do have some video, you're seeing it now on the screen. Uh, that, that the police had to intervene and, and break up or whatever. It looks like some people were tased, potentially, uh, and you see people running for the, for the exits and for the parking garage. This is a, a, it was a big deal, you know, I mean, this, this really did happen, but there was no active shooter, and it was the second time in one day uh, that there was the scare of an active shooter, not at Universal, but in Orlando. And uh, no indicators that anybody was, was hurt or anything like that. I do believe some arrests were made. And uh, that kind of resolves that for you as well. We also uh, found out over the weekend <clears throat> that Florida and Georgia residents will be getting a one day free with the purchase of a two day ticket at Universal Orlando Resorts. We buy two days, so you're giving you a third day free. Pretty good deal there for sure. And uh, last week it was reported that a man snuck into a closed bar at Volcano Bay, poured himself a drink, uh, became intoxicated, and was promptly arrested. Uh, I don't really have too much other than that. I'm not going to say the guy's name. He's an Illinois resident, 32 years old, and he was arrested for petty theft and burglary after he entered a closed Volcano Bay restaurant and helped himself. So there's that as well. Um, and then also we are seeing that uh, Universal Orlando was denied the motion to dismiss a lawsuit uh, regarding with the manufacturer of The Race Through New York starring Jimmy Fallon. Uh, not a lot of details here other than just uh, basically it is claiming that the ride manufacturer is saying that Universal still owes them. I believe it's something like $5 million in unpaid invoices plus interest. Uh, Universal allegedly wanted to make change late in the ride's construction and that caused them to replace the manufacturer with a different company. So this is the original company who's saying, hey, you still owe us some money. That is your update for today. As always, guys, go out and bless somebody else today. Do something amazing for somebody else. Don't expect anything in return. Stop fighting with people. And watch what happens in your life. We'll see you.